All right, Tom, I wanted to show you my next step here in uh, in making this blank. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. I don't even know where the camera's at on my phone. There it is. All right, so we have the um, the brass tube mounted in our clear resin. I took the brass tube. Let me explain this a little better. I got the brass tube, and I wrapped that sticker that I created around the brass tube. Okay. Then I mounted it in a the silicone mold I've been talking about. Doesn't show very well. Um, and then I poured that. It's like a, a polyester resin. It's kind of like a clear bar top um, material. So you mount that in your uh, in your mold. Then you pour the resin around it, let it cure, and uh, it's just it turns out crystal clear. Like I said earlier in some of my posts, I put it in that um, painter's pot, that pressure pot, and put it about 70 pounds of pressure. Uh, air pressure in there that pushes out all the air bubbles so you don't see any any tiny little bubbles in there so we're we're getting ready to do our next step is we're gonna mount this um, on the lathe and we're gonna turn this material most of the material will come off and we'll turn it down to the diameter of these um, uh, stainless steel bushings which are the same um, they're manufactured by some guys that I know but it'll be the same um, diameter as the uh, as the pen kit part. So you just bring that material down to um, that dimension and then you'll I'll sand it and then I'll polish it and then we'll mount it on the on the pen kit. But when we're done um, that's what it's going to look like. So stay with me here. Alright, see how this works. I always get nervous about this. This stuff has a tendency to just chip out and break and blow up. If you don't know what you're doing, it'll, uh, it is a major headache. I've been doing quite a few of these and I got um, sharp tools, so it should work out pretty good. Let's, ch let's take a look. Just got to go real slow and work, your, work the corners off of this. Until we get it round. Once I get it round, it's a lot easier to deal with. I just, I just slowly work my tool through it. It's a little bit of work, quite the process. I think the hardest part about this whole ordeal for you is just creating the sticker, I told you, the decal. I'm not very good with uh, doing stuff like that on my computer, so i got to get one of my kids up here to do that for me. Pull them out from the, from the basement instead of playing video games. Maybe they can figure it out. But anyway, I did get a one good... Um, one good sticker made and I got a file saved so hopefully in the future when we want to do more of these or whatever you want I just I can revert back to that and work off of that like I said I can do pretty much anything if we can fit it in that small little area it's like uh, two inches long by about an inch and a quarter around will fit on the uh, on the brass tube of these things I'll show you what it's looking like in a second here getting around, you can feel it, I'm knocking off all the corners. Alright, so let me see if I can zoom in and do this. I don't know much about my camera. Alright, so it's round, and uh, it's starting to show through a little bit. Like I said, we'll see how it works. Well, all I gotta do is get it down to these dimensions here. And, uh, and then just sandpaper and just bring it way down to, um, I run my sandpaper to like 12,000 grit, if you know anything about finishing material. It's, that's real fine. And then I'll run the very last step. What I use is a, uh, a Meguiar's Plastics. It's, uh, it's uh, like a headlight polish. Um, so that's the last step. It really brings out the shine in this stuff. So stick with me. I'm going to put you on pause here.
stuff is messy. It's fun to work with. Turning really good. Feel it with your tools as it's cutting into the material. Makes a mess. Oh yeah. Well, it's kind of kind of hazy. I don't think I can get you any clearer than that, but uh, we'll keep working on it, and uh, we'll get it down to those dimensions and clean it up.